What's happening, folks? Adam here with Free to Prowl. Thank you for stopping in. We're out here, back on the ice, in Green Lake, Wisconsin, chasing lake trout. Look at that, just peels right off the old skin. Took my rod in the water. Oh my gosh! I was actually out here last weekend, ended up tearing into a really nice 25 incher. We'll show that footage as well here. We're actually gonna cook that one up on the ice, on the heater. I'll show you guys how to make that a simple, easy way. And uh, just going to try and lay some more down, um, put some on the ice here. It's uh, beginning of March, things are warm, but we still have a lot of good safe ice out here on Green Lake. So we're going to get in the shanty, we're going to put a couple rods down and just start ripping some baits for Lakers. That's the plan. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. We love bringing you guys on our outdoor adventures, exploring Freedom Outdoors, public lands, public waters public access and thanking our vets along the way that's what free to prowl is all about so hit that subscribe button come along on further adventures and without further ado let's get to get set up here got the one-two punch dead stick just right off the bottom I mean it's got to be maybe six inches maybe a foot hanging there for those lazy fish and then we're using a chicken bait right above it call anything in from afar get any ones that want to really hammer on it hopefully they hammer on it I'd, li I'd like to hook into one on the jig rod most of my bites last weekend came off just the dead stick, um, which is fun. They put up a fight, obviously, but it's always nice to just rip into one, play with one, get them to chase. That's what I like. Come on, buddy. Pick it up. Come hang out with me. around right now and I like it. Just gotta hook into one here. Got one on a dead stick here. I'm gonna reel this freaking line up so I don't have to deal with him. Here we go. Oh no, he didn't have it. Well, that is just utter disappointment. Man, he was totally freaking... I'll take the dead bait! There we go! Hooked up. Doesn't feel too big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can see him over there. <laughs> stay out of that line, stay out of that line! Nice fish right there. Good looker. Good looker. He'd be a good eater. He's, you can tell he's uh he's burping up his air. That's why you're able to catch these fish from the depths like that because they they burp up their they're able to burp up their air bladder and then they can get back down to the depths. But you can see he's missing his adipas fin, adipas fin, whatever it's called. So he's definitely a stocked fish. We're gonna throw him back. It's 
So I'll just cut a shiner head off. And I just hook them so I can get some of that. I like getting some of that skull. And they just hang down there like that. It's on a fluorocarbon leader with a split shot maybe two feet up. Foot up, foot and a half, I don't know. I just throw her down there, let her sit. Let her just soak. It takes a while to get down there. All right, we're gonna get to cooking some lake trout. This is actually a uh, trout I caught last week. I'll show that video right now. Come on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Don't get caught on my other line, please. Oh yeah, I, it, he's panning out my other line as he's running here. Come on, I fought all weekend for you, buddy. All weekend. there he's got my other line all tangled up I'm gonna end up putting this one on the ice just because he's got the hook buried deep in his stomach and I can't get it out and I feel bad so you can keep him up here I've never had lake trout before it's a pretty cool deal right there so been a struggle it's been a real struggle as of late we're gonna get back down and uh some more hopefully all right so all we need to make this is tinfoil Italian dressing obviously your trout and a mr. buddy here so all we're gonna do is these are called trout boats take a generous amount of foil and we're gonna make basically a vessel a boat down. Take your Italian dressing, get it all shook up, and just pour it over. Pour it over, make sure it's completely covered. A little more. It's not like we got anything else to do with this. And then all we do is we simply put it on the heater, turn it to high, let it sit there until that uh, until that skin is is cooked. Um, got all those seasonings, all that oil is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let's check her, man. Oh, she's getting there, man. She's getting there. Look at that. All right, we had to bring you inside. It was getting a little windy out there. And flapping around so for the sake of quality content a little change of camera angle we're about to tear into this lake trout and I am excited it smells amazing in here freaking amazing There's oil in here but look at that right off the old skin I don't know if you can get a, like a simpler recipe I mean the seasonings 
are literally in the jar, in the thing of dressing. I mean, it's, it's so good. Simple, easy, right? Do it on the heater, do it over a campfire, do it over your grill. You get that oil, that vinegar, I'm the taste of the dressing, but it doesn't overpower the fish. So good. I don't know who cleaned these fish. They didn't clean all the bones out. Hot meals on the ice make the day so much better. So much better. Now the only thing we need to do is tie into another tanker like this guy. Oof, stop. Oh boy, Bout took my rod in the water. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Literally, Bout took my rod in the water. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a good fish, dude. This is a good fish. It's a little precarious because the hole, this hole for this dead stick is right under the camera. So I can't like, I can't fight right under the hole or right under the camera. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. It's down to like 40 foot. Betsy, dude. Oh, Betsy. That's a, a big reason I use these, my open water reels. It's, it's a, I know they have good drags, right? I'm, can bigger spool, you can hold more line. You know, if this guy wants to take me on a, another run, which typically can happen once you get close to the hole. Oh, dude, I'm freaking nervous, dude. I am, I am freaking nervous. No, oh, he's right under the hole. Head in. Can't get his head in. He's bullying me. Boom! Boom! Yes! That's what it's about. Uh, that one's for you, Jackson. The fist pump. The freaking fist pump. Look at that. That is a chunker my gosh that is awesome Whew. what a freaking
freaking riot, dude. What a riot. After some quick pictures, measurement, he's 30 inches. We're gonna get him back. Big old fatty. Well, after a lengthy release session, multiple attempts, this dude didn't, what I gather is this dude didn't burp up his air for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know what's up, but I can feel his air bladder is just bulged up and he's just laying. He's alive, he's laying in the hole, basically can't go down. Come on, dude. Um, so I'm gonna have to make the ethical decision here and end up keeping this guy, but it sucks. It's, you know, 30 inch lake trout. It's, things got some age on it, man. They take, they take a long time to grow. And it's just, I'm not, you know, he's alive, he's breathing, he's kicking, but he just, he won't go down, he can't. Tried fizzing him with what tools I have here, it didn't work. Um, you know, all I really have is a scissors and some hook, hooks that I can straighten out, but whatever, it's not working. Lesson learned, have to carry a fizzer with uh, from now on, but it was just tough. Uh, you know, he's got... He's got the hook kind of deep from hammering that dead bait, and I think it just didn't allow him for whatever reason to burp up the air, and that sucks. So keep that in mind if you're out here in Green Lake. I mean, these fish love dead bait, but it might result in quite a few casualties if uh, you can't get to them in time. I mean, I know a lot of guys tip up fish and stuff like that, but these fish choke these baits literally and uh it's just unfortunate i don't i don't like keeping i don't like keeping mature fish trophy fish right i want to pass it on to the next person it's the resource you know do the right thing and let somebody else catch this thing when it gets to be 35 inches but unfortunately i can't let this thing sit here and float so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to dispatch them so it's part of the game, but it's not something I'm happy about.